I was teaching, it was a Wednesday, it was very much like today, very dreary, rainy, yucky out. A day Stacy Wagstaff's husband doesn't remember and she will never forget. My principal came in and my PE teacher came in with her and she was like, I need you to get your coat and your purse and your phone and meet me in the hall. An incident at a crime scene. I know that it was a first degree burglary where the suspects were still on the scene. Officer Tom Wagstaff had been yeah. shot. There was a shot fired, it skipped off the ground, and I was a lucky one that got shot in the head. Five years later, he does feel lucky. He's alive, not so lucky. He lives differently. Wagstaff lost the use of his legs and uses a wheelchair now. My psychologist says I have a bit of PTSD, even though I don't remember what happened. I just gotta look down at my chair. What do you miss about? Everything. I mean, being able to go out in the community and make it a better place and the guys I work with. Doing simple things takes much more thought. I have problems, again, thinking of what I want to say, I just can't get it out. Time and work. And he's here for it, most recently fueled by what he learned at the Adaptive Training Foundation in Dallas. I told him the very beginning. You tell me what to do and I'll do it. Wagstaff spent nine intense weeks of therapy at ATF. The nonprofit's motto, Defy Impossible. We talked with Tom and his trainer, Randall Williams, during his time there. Williams believes what they preach. Medical anomalies are not really anomalies. They happen all the time. Tom can walk. Tom, he, I think some of the limitations are uh, him thinking to, that he's supposed to be walking as he did before brain injury. That mindset and all this hard work Came home with Tom. I'm doing a lot better than I was. I got down there, I didn't know what to expect, and then I, when we got into it, I really got gained confidence, and he really worked with me. He pushed me really hard, but not too hard. Every day, he's getting stronger, going to the gym here, back slow. working with physical and occupational therapists here, putting in the work, working up a sweat every day to stand Lean forward by a promise. I walk again. I'm getting closer and closer to it. Not letting dust settle on his ambitions or shroud his faith. I say little prayers all the time. Once he knows, will come true. Donna Pittman, KMBC 9 News. Tom has retired from the Independence Police Department. He and his wife have two sons and the oldest wants to go into law enforcement.